Hi, so um, today we'll talk about um, the sum of the numbers uh, which is called h over n of 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third and so on up to 1 over n where n is some positive integer and this summation is well known in mathematical literature it is, it is uh, actually called the harmonic um, series and you can write this as sum of uh, k equals 1 to n of 1 over k and we will talk about its rela relationship with the euler mascheroni constant and you know some integrals so what is the euler mascheroni constant so it is well known that this particular series right here when you take the limit as n approaches infinity in other words you'll be you'll be adding ever decreasing numbers one plus one half plus one third and so on they are always decreasing it actually diverges in other words eventually the sum if you take like all of them approaches um infinity okay but the increase of this uh uh, uh sum okay the, the way it divergence is actually um uh, very slow and then that's why people also compare this um, sum with another very slowly diverging function which is that of the logarithm okay as n approaches infinity so these two guys right here um the harmonic series as n approaches infinity and the limit of the log logarithm as its parameter approaches infinity both of them are infinities right but the nice thing is that the moment you take the difference so let's call it gamma of n which is the difference between the harmonic um, series which is this one minus the logarithm so let's call it gamma of n the nice thing is that when you take the limit as n approaches uh, infinity of this difference okay you actually don't approach zero but instead you approach some number which is like 0 0.577 uh, and so on which in literature is called gamma this is actually the euler mascheroni constant and it is very fascinating because um, if you think about it it's like the difference between two infinities the difference between the limit of the harmonic series as it approaches infinity and the natural logarithm of infinity and yet when you take the difference you get this some um, tiny number which we know uh, little about we don't know if it is irrational or rational and so on but it crops up a lot right in in several areas in physics and mathematics our uh, interest here is to try using this gamma and what its relationship uh, is to some um, integrals okay so first we'll consider the, the following integral right so we'll have the integral from 0 to 1 of my 1 minus 1 minus x to the n over x um, dx so what's what's with this integral so we would like to in order to um, manipulate these things the uh, harmonic series and the euler mascheroni constant let's try and attempt to write them in terms of integrals so we consider this guy here okay and uh, what we do here is um, we change variables we let 1 minus, minus x be equal to u okay so that gives you uh, integral 1 minus u to the n and then x will become uh, since you let u equals 1 minus x then x will become 1 minus u du is of course um, negative dx and when uh, x is equal to 1 u is 0 when u is uh, when x is 0 u is equal to 1 so what we can do is you have your negative du from uh, 1 to 0 but we can reverse the limits and then instead of negative du we write there du from 0 to 1 okay and we can um, can uh, simplify this by noting that the numerator 1 minus u n can actually be written as 1 minus u multiplied by the quantity 1 plus u plus u squared 
plus and so on up to u to the n minus 1. If you're not convinced, you, you just try like multiplying term, term by term. Everything else will cancel except 1 and un, okay? And of course, you still have the denominator 1 minus u du. This denominator will cancel and we can integrate it um, term by term. So this will give you integral of 1 is u, integral of u, u is 1 half u squared, integral of u squared is 1 third u cubed, and so on, all the way up to 1 over n u to the n. Of course, evaluate it from 0 to 1. That gives you 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third, and so on, up to 1 over n. And like we said, what was this? This is the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus 1 minus x to the n over x uh, dx. But of course, we know this to be the harmonic series, right? So this is nothing but your h sub n. So therefore, what we did is we found an integral expression for our um, harmonic series, right? So now, our next step would be we will now try to relate this to the um, euler mascheroni constant, okay, uh, specifically to the uh, log logarithm first. So what we do is, in this integral, we change variables. We let uh, y equals nx, okay, therefore dy is equal to n dx, and obviously dx is equal to dy over n, and you'll see later um, why we are affecting this um, change of variables. Basically, it has something to do with the limit definition of the exponential, okay? So let's do this. So the integral of 1 minus 1 minus x to the n over x, after you change variables, this will give you 1 minus 1 minus, so x is now y over n to the n over y over n dx will of course become uh, y over n dy okay and of course when x is equal to 0 y is 0 but when x is equal to 1 y is n okay this will of course cancel and this will give us the integral from 0 to n of 1 minus quantity 1 minus y over n to the n over y dy okay so let's simplify this integral this will give you the integral uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna divide this integral into two parts okay integral from zero to one of one minus quantity one minus y over n to the n all over y dy plus integral from one to the n of one minus one minus y over n to the n all over y dy okay so that's just simple i just divided the integral into two parts and now what happens is this will become the integral from zero to one of one minus um one minus y over n to the n all over y dy and then I separate this integral further plus integral of 1 to the n of dy over y minus the integral from 1 to the n of 1 minus y over n to the n over y dy. Okay, and now you can see why I did that separation. It's because um, this, I, can, I know that I can evaluate this as your ln and you evaluate the limit from 1 to n. So ln of 1 is 0 and then L of, ln of n. Had you included this, it will diverge, right? If uh, ln, ln of um, uh, 0 um, is a divergent uh, integral like we uh, said, uh, sorry, ln of 0, it's, it approaches a very large uh, negative number like we said in our um, previous uh, video. Okay? So you don't want to be evaluating like um, ln of uh, 0, right? So that's why I, I separated that. So we, we can evaluate the second term. So integral 0 to 1 of 1 minus 1 quantity 1 minus y over n to the n 
over y dy plus ln of n, that's basically the second term, minus integral from 1 to n of quantity 1 minus y over n to the n over y dy. Okay? And now here's where the magic happens because again, we know that this whole thing, as we simplified above, is your harmonic uh, series, right? Or your harmonic function. Now, we've defined gamma n, okay, to be the difference between the harmonic function minus the logarithm of n, right? But look, you have ln here. So, in other words, if I take away ln, if I subtracted ln, then gamma n will just become the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus quantity 1 minus y over n to the n over y dy minus integral from 1 to the n of 1 minus y over n to the n over y dy. So note that you don't have the ln anymore because this is now gamma n. Okay? And so now you will see why we have that very weird uh, function uh, change of variable of the form y and then you make it nx. The reason is because we will now be using the uh, definition of the, uh, what they call this, exponential. As n approaches infinity, you have uh, e to the y that is defined as the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus y over n to the n. Okay, which is basically the terms that we are seeing here inside the integral. Okay, therefore, if we take the limit, okay, as n approaches infinity of gamma n, which we said was our gamma, the constant now, which is Euler measure only constant 0 0.577, this is now equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus, so now, 1 minus y over n to the n, that becomes e to the negative y. Note that the definition of e to the y is plus y here. So this becomes, uh, the, the, the first uh, term in the integrand above will become e to the minus y uh, over y uh, dy. And then the second term gives you integral from 1 to the n, but note that we're taking the, its limit as it approaches infinity, so this now becomes 1 to infinity of e to the minus y, so that is 1 over one minus y over n to the n as n approaches infinity over y dy, okay? So now, this right here, the nice thing about this is that we now have an integral definition for our euler mascheroni constant. Okay, and I'll be showing you how to use this integral definition, which is a constant 0.577, to in evaluate some uh, funny looking um, integrals, and I'm gonna do that in the next video. Okay, so make sure that you watch this video first before uh, proceeding to the next one. All right, so thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.